Get them, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Good evening, folks. Alien Addict here. Um, I'm with James and Charlie. And they were discussing aliens earlier on in the night. I've, got, I've actually got a question for you, mate. Right. Because we were talking about human beings, you know, we evolved from a tiny, tiny little thing, right? Into whatever, into whatever, into a fish, into a thing that went on the ground, into a monkey. Eventually, we ended up being human beings. That's awesome, right? Sweet. Do you think it's possible for something like an ant to do the same thing? Definitely. Giant, evolved well, actually, ants. I have a problem with evolution. Do you, I don't under Darwin's theory. To me, I don't know if Darwin's theory actually adds up. Come on, man. No, no, I, I, Come I'm, on, man. I, no, I'm a big I, I, like I'm, I'm all about evolution, but there's missing links. What's the missing link? Between the dinosaur and the human. Yeah, they no, say they, they, they got wiped out. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 they did. And they went to chickens. Yeah, and they were mammals, small mammals, and yeah, yeah, and what have you. Yeah, yeah. But I, I kind of see. I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm, you, you know me, James. I work with James, by the way. We do. It's James. Yeah. Love this guy. He needs to come Love with me. Love this guy. Um, but there's something missing. I don't know, there's something missing. Well, Ollie thinks there's something missing in evolution. What do you think? What? I feel like there's something missing in evolution. Something went wrong somewhere. Where? What about aliens? Oh yeah. But not aliens, but not, now James has changed the subject to evolution. Well, okay. but, but, because I know we were getting somewhere though. My point was, my point was, right, is, totally. right? Because me and Charlie were saying, if, if, if aliens are out there, you know, why haven't we found them yet? Why haven't we seen them? And I was saying, mate, maybe, you know, intelligent life becomes very self-destructive. Just look at mankind. We're really self-destructive. Maybe we won't make it. Maybe we won't be able to colonize other planets because we'll just end up killing ourselves before we do. But if it was an ant, and you know, like, the ants all... Um, for the colony, it's all for the hive, it's the hive mind. The ant doesn't care about but how itself. long have ants been about? Ants have been about since the dinosaurs. There were ants there. Yeah, yeah but, but, but do you think it's possible, given a long, long enough amount of time, for something like an ant? If it was the dominant to, species. Of if the it planet. was the dominant species of the planet, exactly. Like an insectoid. An yeah, to become really advanced, to the point where they work out how to fucking leave the planet and shit. As ants with the hive mind. The difference between that and us, though, is the ants wouldn't kill themselves. Why would they not kill themselves? And they would be able to govern themselves perfectly. Why? Why would they not kill themselves? Though? This is the hive mind. This is the hive mind. Ants don't have a certain sense of self-awareness. It's it's all collective. Yeah, but if they came self-aware of their own, like if if they became like us, if they became clever like us, surely they would be destructive like us. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. But what we're saying is, what if it wasn't like that? What if they didn't become individuals? What if they were always linked to this the This is hive? good shit. It linked to the hive mind, and the hive mind governed everything. Do you think that hive mind could figure out a way of leaving you, the planet? Yeah, do you think it could get evolved enough to do crazy, crazy stuff like what human beings do? Get them to build giant skyscrapers. Well, get, ants can build fucking... Yeah. Ants, ants build them. Have you, seen, have you seen them big ant hills? They, they, they go amazing. so deep. Have you seen the um, video where someone pours so, an so there's, in, there's intelligence there. For an ant to do that, there must be some sort of collective intelligence for an ant to do that. How far can that go? If, if you got, an, if you had an infinite amount of time, if, if they were the only ones there, what could happen? What is the potential for something like that? There's documentaries on ants where they sort of travel. Charlie, do you mind being on YouTube? No. That's all right. I'm on YouTube. Charlie's on YouTube. What's your channel? Oh, I don't have a channel. I'm on. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> There's documentaries of ants, not only like obviously creating their structures and mounds and whatnot, but like to go upstream or travel down river, they form boats and bridges out of their own bodies. Wow. And it's all like moving and constantly cycling so that the ants in the water can get to the surface and breathe. And they travel and migrate a hive, a whole hive down river. See, that, that, that's, that's the ants. That's the hive mind. They worked out how to do that. 
if they're dominant species of a planet, the only thing that properly gets the chance to evolve to that point of intelligence, can it figure out a way of traversing space instead of water? Because that's what the Zerg did in StarCraft. I'm not a StarCraft player, as you... As you picture bit. this, picture this. They create these giant biological masses, yeah, that are really, really complicated and full with loads of different chemicals and stuff. And they've, they've evolved certain components so that they can basically create a chip that leaves the planet. Like spilling like gases and shit and... and um, I like Starship Troopers, they did that. Yeah, like they did that. chemical combustions inside there and, and they created something they created something that could lift itself off the planet and then actually go into space and fly in space and land on another planet and then colonize it. And that what they were bugs. They were fucking bugs. That's in a computer game though. Yes. And if you see Sarty Troopers, it's the same shit. They did this, they did that, no. And, 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 and that's what we were getting at. We were saying like, if you bumped into an alien, right, what are the chances that they're going to be like humans? Is it that, 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 that it's actually really rare for a species that is individual, like humans, to actually get to a really super advanced stage? My, is it easier for ants to do it? My actual theory on aliens is that if aliens are vis visitors, yeah, they are probably more robotic than they are, but more AI than they are uh, physical. AI is the next step in, in intelligent life, in my opinion. Advanced, super advanced AI. That that's the next progression after us. Yeah, definitely. That's it's, a, it's the next step. The thing is, AI will take over, and it's probably the AI that will the AI from our planet will go out there and it will... It's true. So but the thing is, how dangerous is AI? So if these aliens are AI, do you think they give a shit about what they're, what they're investigating on? If they're AI? Just... This is a scary thought. What if there is AI that advanced? What if it's already out there? What if we are a test planet and they are that's a good theory. Yeah. What if there is an AI just watching us and being like, it's, it's going all right, they haven't killed themselves yet. Put me into this planet. Well, you know these supercomputers, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do, 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 the, the, these, uh, have you heard of D-Wave? Is it D-Wave computers? Have you heard They're of making these? quantum computers at the moment. Yeah, I've heard of these D-Wave -wave computers that are just like supercomputers and Google's bought a few of them and NASA's bought them and that they are Apparently, computers that are way beyond what our even minds can comprehend that, uh, that have ridiculous wait computer till, power. Wait till they get that to run at a, a super advanced intelligence program that learns. They'll be, they, they will be scared to plug it into the internet. They will keep it in a box that they can't even get Wi-Fi out of because you'd be so paranoid about what something like that would do. But the question that back at Ants, yeah, if we evolved like Darwin says we evolved, if we evolved from what? Nothing. We yeah. evolved from cells. Bacteria in then, water. Yes, if Darwin's theory is right, then yes, we can evolve. Ants can evolve to us. Anything could do it, couldn't they? If, if Darwin's theory is right. Do you, do, you, do you 100% do you boys, Charlie and James by the way, do you, do you boys 100% believe that Darwin's theory is the theory? I can see that given any amount of time and any amount of little injections of, of, of I don't know, electricity or whatever the shit that starts life, folks from environmental factors and things like that, anything can happen. It's chaos. It's absolute chaos. I always compare it to belief in religion. A Christian believes in God, believes in Jesus, believes in the stories of the Bible based on what he believes are the facts that he's given. Yeah. So the facts that I'm given through all these lectures, all these scientists, Darwin's theory, to me, seem the most plausible. So yeah. Until that is, there are other facts that are proving it otherwise. Yeah. Boys need to come on my channel more often. You're very fucking interesting. Let's do it. We like this stuff. I have a subject saved for the next time. Yes. Many 
subjects have been saved. James and Charlie, boys and girls. We're having a good night. Let us know. I know these guys, they're good, they're good boys. If you want them on Alien Addict more often, it's called to me Ants and How Ants and evolve. all that good stuff. Let me know. Good night, God bless. And mind the bugs don't bite.